An ongoing topic of contention for HVAC contractors and, well, themselves, is outdoor design temperatures. I really want to talk about why this week. Hi, I'm Chris with HVAC ProBlog. I recently heard of a building inspector question design temperatures for an HVAC contractor on his load calculation. When he replied, I've been designing using these temperatures for decades and I've never had a callback, the inspector was not impressed. I think everybody knows there's actually design temperatures from Manual J, Table 1A, and 1B for microclimates across the United States, but they don't necessarily want to use them. The key to trusting these outdoor design temperatures is understanding the why. In the winter, Table 1A in ACA Manual J uses the 99% design temperature. This loosely means 1% of the year when you add up all of the run hours it will be at this temperature or above outside. So that means 3.65 days, it'll be colder than that, which means we're also oversized 98% of the year. When it does dip below that 1% design temperature, sure, the system's gonna run constantly and hopefully maintain your temperature inside. That's what manual S and equipment selection is for and the rounding in ACA Manual J software. There's already so much oversizing built in. You can't do wrong with an aggressive load calculation. For the summer, it's the same approach, the 1% design temperature. This means 1% of the year, it's warmer than that outside. Of course, in the middle of July and August, when it does reach temperatures higher than your design temperature, that system is going to run constantly to try to remove the humidity so that way you can feel comfortable. Yes, it's true. If it's colder than that winter design temperature or warmer than that summer design temperature, you may get some phone calls. It's going to be running constantly and it may not keep up. It happened in my own house. Worse, if you oversize equipment, particularly for variable speed systems that were promised to save homeowners energy, you may get calls on more days of the year. Never mind when that homeowner gets their bill in the mail. Thanks for joining me. I'm Chris with HVAC Pro Blog, where we provide advice for residential system design, quality installation, and system diagnosis. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you next week.